cracking way to start a Monday morning, beginning of the week. Now oh, here we go, new piece in. Now we're looking at a mid 18th century oak long case clock with mahogany cross banding and little features. Little features being a bit of marquetry in the centre of the door here. This is a cross banding, you can see it's faded nicely with age. Coming across, you've got some little kick outs at the top here and here. The actual hood itself, you're missing some caps. The caps will be this thing here, all the way down there. The hood itself, again, is taking a little bit of a battering, and we've got cross banding missing at the top. Also, on top of that, the tea caddies come away. The tea caddy is called a tea caddy top because it's shaped the way that a tea caddy used to be in the olden days. Now, if you look at here, you've got all this glue line that's actually dried up, and that's why it's actually popped off. Over here, we have the tea caddy, as you can see, the shape of a tea caddy top. One time it had a finial at the top here. These little returns have been cut either side to be able to either let something in. Yeah, I would have thought it would have been a little block or something like that. Again, with the finial at the top. We'll see what needs doing with that. And then we come across to the very base. Here you go, there's the plinth. There's this part here, onto the base. You can see the cross banding again running down the edge there. It's like a finish, just to end the job and make it look pretty. Now, what we have to do is we have to get this part here, put it on the floor, get the top section up here, attach it to that, grab hold of the tea caddy, which is this part here, fix it all to here, lots of here's, and then get it all together. Wish me luck. Happy Monday.